What the hell? This thing never works. Wrong song. Whoops, I had it on I had it on BRB, but I meant starting soon. Hello everyone, and welcome to day 136? Day 136 of daily drawing practice. I am Kyle, and today I'm gonna be working mostly on Widowmaker's gun and maybe a little bit on her legs. Um, maybe I'll start with the legs, because I've been saying I'm going to do gun for a long time, so might as well keep avoiding it. Um, I had this on here, because after the stream last night I looked up what this meant, and it means nightmare in French. Um, which makes a lot of sense. Um, this I can, I don't know if I'm ready to merge that down yet, I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to hide tracer. Let's go. So I think something that I want to do is add just some like general shading onto her like calf area and legs. Um, Cause they're like super flat right now. Don't want them to be super flat. Oh. I'm definitely using the wrong brush. I think even just adding like a little bit darker here in the corner helps quite a bit. Unless you notice the lightened part a little bit more. Actually, I'm not sure why this is like all flaky. What the hell? It looks like she's got just like a little area that's slightly darker right on the edge. I think this lighter part is like reflected light from her other leg or something. Ooh. and Blizzard, uh, they released a new animated short today, and it was Hanzo and Genji, and it was awesome. Probably my favorite one.
this like back thing has like a bit of texture on it and I'm probably not going to do that right now but I'll get to it at a later date I think tonight's a night where I want to get like coverage and just like do a bunch of stuff quicker That works. And this top part is actually pretty soft with the transition. I'm going to soften that out a little bit. And then this part becomes metallic, so I'm going to have to do a bunch of like shine. Stuff. Yeah, you should totally go check out the, uh, the Genji Hanzo animated short, if you haven't seen it yet, because it rules really, really good. There's actually like multiple layers of gloss. There's some that are kind of like dull, like this one, and then there's some on like the corners of things that are like pretty bright. I'm gonna have to go and do like two passes on some stuff. Okay, so now I'm picking up like pretty close to real full on white. Just doing kind of like corner stuff, itchy eye.
I'm using an eraser that's a little bit too large for this area. See, that already looks like a hundred times better. Today at work, only my sixth day of Crunchyroll, and I already I missed a meeting today by accident because it didn't notify me on my calendar. Felt really bad about it. I think I want to break up the gun over several days because it's going to be very tedious, I think.
doing that thing where I check to make sure no one's in chat. Because I don't like how it is so far. I don't understand how chat works because sometimes like a whole bunch of people will just enter at once. It definitely seems to like it happen where if like a couple people enter more will enter. I wonder if that's just because it ranks higher on the creative page if that happens. Is this a Katamari Damacy remix? Shit. This is definitely gonna get copyrighted. So if I'm in the VOD talking about Katamari music and you don't hear anything because it was removed on YouTube. Which by the way, I was worried that YouTube wouldn't be able to do that. And it actually works really well. I'm super surprised at how good YouTube is at removing audio from stuff. This definitely sounds like a remix, so I don't know if remixes are subject to copyright changes too. I guess we'll see. I love Katamari music though, it's so good. Can't really tell what's going on. They're like shoe.
book. Good job, Katamari soundtrack. Hey, cyanide. Working on some boots right now. Pretty good. I'm working on our leg over here, and then I'm gonna kind of work on the other one, and then do some uh, gun detailing, which I've been avoiding for days because it's gonna be terrible and a lot of work. Thanks. Starting to come together. I feel like there's still a lot to do though. But this stuff is luckily like kind of like my first mecha drawing because it's like fairly easy mechanical stuff. When I try to do like diva or someone later it should be a little bit easier because i'll have some whoa thank you for hosting me thanks cyanide Get get rid of all these fucking <laughs> Yeah, I usually don't get a ton of people in chat. Yesterday was like a weird anomaly. There was a whole bunch of people just like sitting. I'm cool with people sitting in chat. Yeah, it would be cool to get more chattas. Yeah, for sure. I don't have very many followers on Twitch anyway, but maybe over time, it's, it seems like it's been slowly building up. I've been doing it nearly every day for, I don't know, a little while. Breaks when I'm out of town or whatever. I don't know what the heck this music is. More Katamari music. Please.
Such messy pencil lines. You think so? You think creative grows faster? I've noticed my YouTube numbers, like subscribe numbers have been going up way faster since I started doing creative stuff daily. But I haven't had a ton of new people on Twitch yet. And I don't really mind not having a bunch. Yeah, I was actually really excited when Twitch came out with the creative channel because like, I don't want to stream games all the time because it kind of stresses me out to be like gaming and having like people watching me. Kind of like someone standing behind you when you're using like, typing or something and you just are terrible super super bad at it so it's drawing it's a little bit less nerve-wracking for me for some reason I do think I draw worse on stream because I am concentrating on doing like a couple different things at once but like when I wanted to get Widowmaker's head right I had to do some off stream drawing to like fix shit I think it's fun. Wish it would stop doing that fucking zoom out. Yeah, like, I started streaming on here mostly just to, like, have a record for myself of my own drawing sessions, which is why I wasn't doing, like, music that other people could hear for a long time. But I figured, might as well, like, if I'm going to be here anyway, might as well, like, do some stuff that other people can enjoy, too. Potentially, anyway. And there's been some like really helpful people like that have joined chat. Like there was this one person that like taught me about how the alpha lock channel thing works in Procreate because I would have never figured out what it was trying to tell me from the UI because the UI can be kind of obscure. I think there might be like multiple spikes up in the front here. Like one there, and maybe like another small one in front of that one. Like that. I meant to follow you, I gotta follow you soon. I wanna see your stuff too if you do art streams.
I don't think there's one in the back. What the hell am I doing? Like not even one here. Ugh. So I might come back in and do some internal shadowing underneath her foot in a little bit. For now, I think I'm going to switch over to her other leg and kind of just go behind where the gun is. Oop. Still don't feel like we're getting on the gun. that gun for as long as I can oh video editing streams that's cool what kind of videos do you edit That's cool. I wish I was better at editing video. I'm very lazy when it comes to that stuff. So if I do videos, I usually just post them however they come out. <laughs> no editing. Being able to edit video is a really good skill to have, though. For sure. Like serious work, meaning like professionally. That's cool. Yoke work sounds fun too, though.
Are you trying to get a job like as a video editor? Because like joke work could be decent in a portfolio, you know? I had a friend that used to do like 3D animation and he did like a bunch of just like personal projects and like weird stuff and he eventually got some pretty decent jobs out of it. But he was like a incredible animator. Done work for like NFL and a bunch of other stuff since then. But it probably depends pretty heavily on like the type of work that you're like looking to get into also. I don't know why I'm focusing so much on this like ankle machinery. Let's move. I know there's a lot of jobs for video editing out there. Sure, if you keep it up and you keep practicing and stuff, you'll eventually get something video editing. I think someday it'd be cool to be like an illustrator. That's one of the reasons why I'd like to get really good at drawing and why I'm like dedicating this year. I don't think I'd want to be an illustrator for several more years. I like being a product designer right now, but eventually it might be cool.
noticed that the longer that I've been drawing every day, the less my wrist has been hurting. I, I don't know if it's my technique getting better or if I'm just getting used to it, but I haven't been getting as much pain as I was like right in the beginning. In the beginning, every time I draw, I'd like have to do stretches and stuff afterwards and my wrist was kind of getting kind of shitty. So I started wearing like wrist braces and stuff, but over time I've noticed that I don't need to wear those as often. I don't know if it's something good that I did or if my wrist is just getting stronger or what. But it kind of worried me that like if I spent a year learning to draw better, I wouldn't be able to use it after that year. That would have sucked pretty hard. I'm happy that it's not painful as it used to be. For some reason when I stream too, I usually don't get a ton of people in chat till like after an hour or so. And like right as I'm about to close up for the night, a bunch of people enter and they're like, oh man. Probably go for a little bit longer night because I want to finish this and I do want to make some progress on the gun. Yeah, that animated short that came out today really made me want to draw Genji and Hanzo. So good. It makes me want the, uh, Blizzard to do like an animated like full-length movie with these characters. I think that could be really cool if they do it right, which I'm sure they would. Although, a craft movie. Hmm. Didn't think of that. I kind of. I hope the Warcraft movie is good, though. Some of the art direction stuff seems a little weird to me, but like, who knows? Fucking Blizzard. But I would totally watch a full-length Overwatch movie, especially if it was like full 3D. Same voice actors, like all like good production house. I know, right? Full length full length movie would be great.
even if it was like a single character's like full origin story, like Tracer like becoming a pilot and then like working in the slipstream plane and getting like pulled out through time and needing the anchor Winston making that for her, like that would be a cool story. I feel like all the characters have something like that where they could just do like individual characters even sort of like Marvel does and then do like an Overwatch movie at the end. I think just an Overwatch movie straight with like all the characters at once might be better, but I'll take anything. Approximating. Eventually, I want to like clean up all this because this is like pretty messy. I don't know though, I might not need cleaning up like, if I zoom out. This will like never be viewed at this size. There's like a lot of weird color variation that I wouldn't expect around here. Like this looks like it's glowing almost around her spikes and then the spikes themselves are basically just gray. Hmm. Who would have thought? shadows to be slightly tinted blue I like that I think doing her legs tonight will have a pretty big impact on the uh, the overall completion look. I think it'll help out a lot. Her legs are so rough. I'm not sure, yeah, her gun still needs a lot of work, but... Legs, man. This blue actually needs to be like a little bit deeper.
I don't know why this would be glowing. Basically looks like that. So because I recently left my old job at Eventbrite, I have some stock options I was able to get over the years. It's like something that tech companies do. They give you like these stock options that you can buy. Um, which is basically just like whenever you start the company, your stock options are like set at that price. I joined a while ago, so mine are like at a pretty decent price. But to buy a bunch of the ones that I had accumulated over the years, I had to write a really big check today. But if it works out, I could make some money back. But if it doesn't, then I'll have wasted a bunch of money. And it's very scary and Feels like very scary adult stuff, and I'm very bad at all of that. It's terrifying and the worst. They're nice, but you have to pay like a bunch of taxes on them. Like so many taxes. I figured it was worth the risk because I think Eventbrite's a great company and I think they'll probably do well in the future. So, hopefully. Then maybe I'll eventually be able to put a down payment on a house or something at some point in my life instead of just renting forever. Still not close to that though. There's like a lot of weird like jazz music on this playlist. Remix jazz music.
Ooh. All right, I think I might be done for the night. I think those boots are looking pretty good though. So tomorrow, this area is the area that I'm going to focus on. I didn't drink my Coke for an hour, so it's not cold at all. Um, yeah, thank you for hanging out tonight, Cyanide. Hopefully I'll see you around again soon. I'll be back tomorrow to do more Overwatch drawing. Let me turn on Tracer. That's where we're at so far. Um... Cool. Well, thanks for hanging out. That's it for me. I'll be back tomorrow. Peace. Peace, 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 peace. Later.